Moto nigo omoseneta wye county ya kisi Richard Onyonga nyaleko wagwe soke wigo na komochi ya chi serekali chechi county a soko gendra utumia bobe eni voh ye gendra toko wye kubatu kwa mwone serekali eneno kwa nalitiko lero a sense mo ya mombasa maega yo wikila nige ikaro kia e merongo enene kemo gya eki umbe keria kia institution of certified public accounts eki nyara kwa wakia wakole kanali tuko lia lero nigo ate banga kati ye bitango e vile ire ama gendro wikila nasi serikali chechi county no obo kurumi obo genetuko obo kwa nekiwa ama ona batenili a a ona boi gaba kwa lili valive chia visi asachi serikali chechi county where we gather all the resources we can and if we are able to beat the system, we do it. Where it doesn't matter whether our children, their great-grandchildren are going to pay billions of shillings because we are growing carelessly and recklessly. Where are the rural areas, most of us who are privileged and are in the middle class or are succeeding in our careers have left our mothers and our fathers our sisters and brothers in the rural areas where we don't provide them with medicines, where the schools where their children go are not designed and organized to provide the basic service of taking this child to education, where our roads are despicable and most of the money is being pilfered by individuals who are taking this money either to Dubai, America and other places. Many of our ruling class is now buying all the property they can buy in any areas in Kenya or abroad and the individuals are now owning 20,000, 40,000, 60,000 acres of land which they are never taxed off but the person who's carrying the load and the weight are most probably the poor people of this country and unless we fix that software, unless we begin to carry ourselves with dignity unless we begin to realize that this country is not bread that you eat and eat and eat and finish and wait for somebody to bring it. Then my fear, Trevor, is that we may end up having a dysfunctional, indeed, mediocre country that keeps on running for the next 50 years again, hoping that we'll go to the first generation and yet in reality will just remain as a banana republic. So my experience is that governors must take responsibility of making sure that they govern their countries well, my experience is that the Treasury, the Control Budget Office, and I Toko ligeri ya gosetoske motu manchomo 